Hi there, I'm Sean Routbart and I'm here at my loft listing at 90 Sumac Street. We're in a great downtown location on Queen Street East between Parliament and River Street. There's a 24-hour streetcar that runs right to the Queen Street Station. You can walk there in about 20 minutes. We're in easy walking distance from Queen Broadview Village, the Distillery District, St. Lawrence Market. There's a fresh co up the street and there's a Sumac Espresso Cafe right here. Why don't we have a peek inside? Follow me in. Here we are just walking into the lobby. I'll give you just a quick pan here. And I wanna take you over to this stencil. Just gonna give you a little quick history of the building. It's built in 1956. 90 Sumac was originally home to CBC's archives, rehearsal spaces, and studios. It's pretty cool to note Jim Henson, creator of The Muppets, and Lorne Michaels, creator of Saturday Night Live, once worked in this building. And if you never heard of Glenn Gould, Google him. He's a legend. All right, let's go upstairs. Here we are in the hallways. They're big, they're bright, and they're very simple. All it is is concrete floors and a carpet runner down the middle. The only reason why I want to mention this is when you have something that's simple just like this, what it ultimately does is it keeps the condo fees low. All right, so let's go have a look at the unit. Come on in. Here we are in the foyer of the unit. You can see that it's wide. There's concrete, polished concrete floors throughout. Here's your mezzanine. We'll come back to this. I just wanted to give you an idea. We'll talk about the structure of the mezzanine as well because it was engineered properly. I'm just gonna walk us through a little bit. You can see here to the left is a very large bathroom that we'll come back to and underneath the mezzanine here, you can see there's a lot of storage. Again, we'll come back to that. So it's an 1145 square foot footprint and about a 300 square foot mezzanine. So you have 1,450 square feet roughly. This is a really good view of the apartment. I love that it has uh, floor to ceiling and pretty much wall to wall windows, 14 foot ceilings. You can see that concrete column, which is pretty prominent uh, in the corner there. I love the fact that it's in the corner. Um, there's a lot of condos that have concrete columns and even like some of the new condo construction in a regular high rise building, they're building them um, with concrete columns and they always seem to get in the way. But this one here is a great feature, but still out of the way. I wanna go here to the window just to show you a few things that have, uh, of interest. So we're here just south of Regent Park. There's a Regent Park revitalization. Lots of new condos in the area. Lots of services. There in the distance, you can see in that real distance is only about five minutes away. There's a basketball court and there's a huge soccer field. The white building here, right next to it, there's an Olympic sized pool in a community center. This low rise building here, uh, it's Nelson Mandela Park Public School. And just to the uh, left of that is another community center. It's got uh, uh, a fitness center, it's got a gymnasium, it's got a rock climbing wall, it's got a running track. Uh, there's a dance studio, um, there's multi-purpose rooms, kitchens, etc. Uh, all of that is free. And they also have a daycare there too, which I don't know if it's free or not, but it would be something you'd have to apply for. We can call the City of Toronto if there's ever any interest. That building there in the distance on the left, that's Young and Girard. So here's a quick pan back. You can see here we have... Uh, I guess this just gives you an idea of the space. You have so much room here. Um, I'll call this a baby grand piano. I might not get it correct, but uh, it's big and there's still lots of, of space. Uh, here we are at the kitchen. You can see it's got stainless steel appliances, fridge, stove, built-in dishwasher and built-in microwave. And just as a side note, that stove has gas cooking. The space up here in between the lights, if you can see, you have the upper cabinets. There's actually even room for more upper cabinetry. So if you wanted to come in here and do a little bit of a renovation, that would be something that I would do anyways. Panning back to the front, I just want to give you an idea. Also has a gas fireplace that works. I want to go up to the mezzanine right now. So here we are up top. There's still a lot of headroom up top. You have to be really, really tall to bang your head. I'd probably say you have to be someone over six foot six. Um, there's not a lot of uh, impediments here upstairs as well. I know it needs a railing, but 
Aside from that, there's another column, by the way. Again, out of the way, but it's a really beautiful feature. Uh, queen size bed. It's a big space. You can easily fit a king in here too. And it's got wood floors. I'm just gonna take us around the corner just to show you that it's got a closet in here as well. It's probably, well, the dimensions on the floor plan, if I recall, it's about eight by six or seven by five or something like that. Up here is a space that uh, could be a nice little reading space. It could be a place where you can put a yoga mat. Uh, it could be even an office. I wanna walk us over here, because this is actually a great aspect as well, just to give you an idea of how much space you have up here, or actually down there. Let's go back downstairs. And let us go back into the uh, storage area. Oh, I might as well talk about the mezzanine too. So this mezzanine was all properly engineered. Not that many people understand it, but it's uh, three and a half inch uh, steel tubing. Uh, it's got a um, steel pan deck. You can pretty much put an elephant on here and have no worries. Take us into the bathroom. Bathroom's quite large, it's 10 feet by 10 feet. Here we go behind that uh, kimono there is a stack washer dryer. And I wanna show you something else that's very interesting that people don't seem to realize. So the bathroom is about 18 inches off the floor. And the beauty of that is, is because all the pipes that have to do with all the plumbing are underneath here. So in case you, know, you wanna do a, a renovation, you can pretty much move the pipes anywhere and you can move the fixtures anywhere you want. So the toilet doesn't have to be there. You could put it wherever your design works. Uh, the, the other beauty of it is, is because you don't go into somebody else's space, like your pipes don't go into somebody else's space, um, nobody's pipes come into your space. So in some of the lofts that I know of, the person upstairs flushes the toilet, you can hear it. Okay, so into the storage space here. Got a large closet. This is only one half of the closet. Take my word, the other half is just as big as we walk underneath. Now the footprint for this is basically the same footprint as you have upstairs in the mezzanine. He just uses it here for a lot of storage. This is actually quite deep from where I'm standing. That back wall is probably about uh, 12 feet from me. That's that column that you see in the bedroom. Now someone asked me once, uh, does it have to be all storage space? It absolutely does not. These walls all come down, nothing structural. What you can do, and it actually would be a really good idea, what you could do is you could uh, remove some of the walls and you could make a bedroom here. So if you need a second bedroom, a guest room, uh, an office space, you can still have a lot of storage, as you can tell. Just pan a little bit more. I'm gonna take you one more time through just to get a sense. Standing here in front of the fireplace. Now all of this can be seen. I do have a virtual tour. Uh, there is a floor plan. There's like a 3D CAD drawing, sort of like a little dollhouse view where you can take a look at this unit and flip it upside down. You can go to my website at uh, seanroutbar.com or you can go directly to the site dedicated for this unit. It's 517-90sumac.ca. Let's go head up to the roof deck. We are now on the roof terrace here at 90 Sumac Street. It's very, very bright. Also a little bit breezy. My apologies for all the wind. You have a couple of Weber gas barbecues. Better than what I have at home. Oh look, there's even utensils here. Place is clean, garbage is empty, recycling's empty. This is really a testament to the type of people who are in this building, how respectful they are of each other, how well taken care of this building is. Beautiful planters, flowers, someone has to be taking care of this. Lots of spaces to sit. I'm just going to take us to the end. Just 
so you can see what we're looking at uh, here. There we go. You're facing the downtown core. What an incredible view. Beautiful. Now that we've seen the roof, I want to show you the parking. So you can see the parking spot here. It's close to the uh, lobby door. It's about uh, 15 spots down the wall. You can see how brightly lit the uh, parking garage is. It's clean. Here's spot number 60. There are very wide parking spaces here, which is really good because people aren't going to really dent your car. And on uh, the left side here, you notice that it's got a couple columns which help protect it as well. And also, if you didn't notice in the listing, there's a locker too. This has been a lot of fun, so contact me at seanroadbar.com or call me at 416-566-2414.